If this beautiful luxury high-rise condo right on the ocean looks a little familiar to you, well, it should. I just got done walking all of Hallandale Beach and Golden Beach ends right here and begins Sunny Isles Beach, the beach we're gonna walk today in its entirety on our way south until we reach Key West. Join me for the adventure, won't you? First difference you'll notice between Golden Beach and Sunny Isles is the amount of people. You'll have more, more buildings here. There's actually Golden Beach doesn't have any buildings. It's all private homes and private beach. But you have condos, hotels, and public beach access in some spots that will enable the gathering of a lot more people. How are you? Skinny as this building is, and all glass, floor to ceiling, glass windows and sliders, skinny as it is, it does throw off some good shade in the uh, afternoon, in the winter time here in South Florida. The wind has picked up. It is a southeastern, it's more than a breeze, it's a good stiff wind coming from almost directly south, southeast, and it feels pretty good right now, guys. You will notice that as the afternoon progresses, the winds tend to pick up, and today is no exception. And I mean, as you have these buildings here, again, it's one of the drawbacks. I don't know, you could look at it as an advantage. It depends on how you look at it, if you wanna be out of the sun. I mean, these people are almost in the dark over here. And again, you have all of these condos that, that are preventing the sun from making its way onto the beach as it sets in the west. This set of buildings is pretty cool here, though. They let a little sunlight in through that hole. Guys, even though the sun is getting lost behind a lot of these buildings in certain sections, and even though it's getting later in the day and windier, it's, you know, it's not sending many people home. It's a lot of people that are just hanging out because it's still such a beautiful day. So you have a lifeguard tower here, and it looks like it looks like there's public access right there alongside the building. I'm just gonna walk back here, guys, and show you how you would get onto the beach.
Tower 192, and it says it officially right on there. City of Sunny Isles, Florida's Riviera. And you can see the lifeguard in there. Nice and cozy. And here's the sign. This is William Bill Lone Beach Access, City of Sunny Isles. And there's a little paved walkway here. And it looks like maybe some restrooms over there. So that's good to know. This is a good access point. Walk behind. Looks like there's a little restaurant over here. I don't believe this is a hotel. I don't believe this is a hotel, though. I believe that this is a condo. It could be mixed, though. It, it could be both. You see there's a sign here. It says what it is. Ocean 2, it's called. So guys, Sunny Isles will go south into Hallover Beach. And Hallover Beach, there's an inlet over there. There's a marina. Uh, they even have a thing with food trucks that come once a week. And it's a big park. They have, sometimes people fly their kites there. So it's, there's a lot happening in this area. What's up, guys? Whoa, he's celebrating. I love it. Where's yours, man? She's got the cigar. Birthday. She's got the champ. Birthday. It's your birthday? birthday? All right, hold on. This is a thing on this channel, okay? We always do this. We sing happy birthday to the young birthday lady. So what is your name? Rena. Rena. Yeah. That's a very pretty name, Rena. Well, listen, I like your style. What are we drinking in there? A little uh, Chardonnay, maybe? Rosé. Rosé? Okay. Rena Rosé, I love it. And what are we smoking, more importantly? Uh, this is my husband's cigar. Oh, it is? Okay. Well, you look cooler than he does holding it. What are the plans for the birthday? Any big plans in the offing? Right here, right here. Just chilling. Just chilling, enjoying it all. Are you guys, are you guys locals? Do you live, live around here? And um, are you originally from here? No, I'm from the Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic. Yeah. Sammy Sosa territory, baby. Yeah. I love Sammy. <laughs> That's awesome. How does this compare to the Dominican Republic? Oh, we got to get her refreshing the drink. There you go. Hey, Russian sister-in-law. Your Russian sister-in-law? Really? All right. Privyet. <laughs> my, wife is, my wife is Latvian. She's actually Russian, but from Latvia. I'm Belarus. That's where she was born. She was, she was born in Belarus. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So anyway, without further ado, will you guys join me in a serenade? of happy birthday for Miss Rena. You ready? Okay. Happy birthday. Okay. One. Anna wanna, Anna tua, Anna three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rena. Happy birthday to you. Hey! Now take a sip and take a smoke. Happy birthday. Enjoy your day. Remember, life is all about the experiences. Okay, okay. All right, guys. Adios and das Vadanya. Take care, guys. So, guys, the pier that you may be able to make out way in the distance to the south of me, because we are walking south, is the Sunny Isles Pier. So that is our mission today. Complete the entire beach and never hurts to check out a pier. Not 
many beaches have a pier, right? Deerfield Pompano had one. Fort Lauderdale does not have a pier. It's got an inlet. So the last pier we were at was at Dania Beach. And uh, now we are going to do our best to make it down to Sunny Isles. Oh, these guys are strong, man. These guys are strong. You don't need to hit the gym, do you? Hey, what is this a condo, guys, or is this a hotel? Uh, it's a condominium. Yeah. What's it called? Oh, wow. You get to hang out it every day. I mean, we hear enough, so we might as well say we kind of do. There you go. How's the, uh, how's the pool area up there? The pool excellent. It's nice, huh? Yeah, very looks like the lipstick building and that one just passed it looks like a cruise ship That's a crater. You know, I remember in Brighton Beach, years ago growing up, the cops used to make you fill in the holes because they were worried that at night, their trucks that would go on the beach would fall in them. And so guys, what's cool about living in these condos is it's almost like living in a hotel because they have this beach service that you can come down here without having to worry about carrying, you know, beach chairs and umbrellas and things, and they'll set you up right down here. I'm sure they pay a lot for that in their HOAs, but it's worth it. I'm guessing that that floor right there, because it's not the penthouse, it's not on the top floor, but it looks to me like it might be their, um, their gymnasium and, you know, they, where they have all the community activities in the building. Maybe they have an indoor pool. I don't know. That looks like a pool deck right there. There's a better shot of that condo that the rooftop has like those smokestacks that you see on the cruise ships. I mean, you could just see after this opening here with these older condos, possibly little motels, I'm not sure, but I, I will tell you that it's amazing that these have withstood the test of time. I don't think that they're gonna last forever though. I wouldn't be surprised because this property here is just so valuable that at some point somebody's going to come in and just write a check that people that live here or own this can't refuse. As you can see once we get past these it's just a lineup one after another of beautiful mostly glass condominiums that are oceanfront right on the beach. interesting how we hear the changes of languages as we walk across various beaches. Obviously English, you'll hear Spanish, you'll hear Portuguese, a lot of Brazilians that are down here, you'll hear the French because of uh, the many French Canadians, you'll hear, you'll hear Russian, you'll hear Arabic, you'll hear uh, Hebrew, many many 
a, a smattering of different languages, which makes this a very international community. So this is all private guys. This is, these are all residents, family members, or um, guests of the people that live in these condos here. In between these giant condos here, I guess these are sort of twin towers that are owned by the same building. I, I guess these are sort of twin towers owned by the same association and in the middle of it, if we can get out of the sun and see, that must be their clubhouse, I'm guessing. For lack of a better word, it looks like Versailles. <laughs> I gotta go in for a closer look at that. Good, how are you, buddy? Good. I got a question, because it looks like you work here. This, in the middle, is that is that the clubhouse to these condos, do you know? Uh, I'm not sure, it's being it, under construction. It's under construction? Cool, thank you. How are you guys? Can anybody tell me what that, in the middle, this little house between these two buildings? Like you guys? Ooh. I'll get an invite on the yacht later, guys. Yeah, yeah we actually have five to us. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, what do you guys do to make all your millions? Crypto or? Um, I do job <laughs> shipping. <laughs> You're kidding. Yeah. That is like huge these days. People yeah. are like becoming instant millionaires doing that stuff. Yes. And it's, it can't be that hard because here you are on the beach having fun, right? <laughs> this thing in the middle, it looks like Versailles. Is it the clubhouse? Like, what what goes think, on in there? Yeah, I think probably. it's just like I think. Okay, I mean, I'm probably just probably assuming. Like maybe it's like oh. like the really fancy houses for like more enclosed people. Vintage, yeah. like it's not 19, yeah. 1950s. But it's a nice it's style. Style. It reminds me of like Versailles, like something in France that you would see. You know. All right, well, I don't want to disturb your game. Thanks for chatting with me. Are you barefoot? Yes, you're barefoot. For Guys, once. He's up to his name. For once. These guys know me. I almost never. I got the sandals in the back. 23.5K subscribers. Not bad yeah. for an old guy. Not bad. There you go. And they're going to add one, two, three, four to that. Woo! And they're all their friends. And they're going to blow me up on Instagram. Woo! Barefoot vlogger. On Sunny Isles Beach. Yes. Thanks, ladies. Nice. Have fun. Take care. So guys, together already, we've walked a bunch of beaches and each one has its own vibe. Each one kind of gives me my own feeling about it. And I will tell you, the one word that comes to mind when I'm walking here on Sunny Isles Beach, vacation. I feel like I'm on vacation. I mean, okay, I know I live in Florida and I can say that almost every day, but today more so than most days. You can see the pier starting to come closer into view. With each step we take, we're getting to the far reaches of Sunny Isles Beach. What's up, guys? Hey, you, what's your yeah, how's the water? What? The later? Thank you. Are you guys from here? What? Are you from here? No. no you're, Raleigh. you're on vacation? Yeah. Where? Raleigh. Raleigh? Rhode Island. Oh, Rhode Island. Little chillier up there, isn't it? You wouldn't be doing this up there now. Have fun, guys. Yeah, so if it looks dark, do not attempt to adjust your screen at home. It's the shadows, once again, because of all these high-rise structures. And you know what's funny about that is, I remember my recent trip to New York City, and I was reading about the construction of a lot of the high-rise office buildings back in the day, you know, going back to the 1930s and 40s, that they actually passed a city construction ordinance, I guess, or law, that 
the buildings had to be wider at the base than they were at the midsection as the buildings were being erected. In other words, they wanted them to be slimmer as they went up. Reason being, they didn't want to put the whole city in the shadows. And that was actually a really smart thing to do. You know, guys, there used to be like a running Florida joke about people that buy beachfront, oceanfront property in condos like these and never go down to the beach. There's literally people that do that. They will live here and they just don't set foot on the sand ever. Well, I don't think you can accuse these folks here of that. They're taking every advantage of what they have right in their backyard. It is just another indication of all the people that moved down here that wanted to be here, that are now here, that are enjoying their lives. I remember when the real estate collapsed, you know, pretty much everywhere. Well, Florida got hit one of the hardest. And I will tell you guys, I remember that condominiums took it on the chin harder than anything else. And the reason for that, it just makes sense, is it just the massive quantities of them that were available and up for sale and people just trying to dump and get rid of. In addition to the fact that there was a lot of new construction that had just gotten underway. So you add all of that inventory to the already existing inventory of things that wouldn't sell and the prices just dropped like a lead balloon. Now, they can't build them fast enough. I like the shape of this one, guys. Look at that, how angular it is here. They have it built on an angle, which probably makes for incredible views. Let's face it, they all have incredible views. I'd settle for a view of the parking lot in one of these. Well, guys, we've just about made it. Here's the pier just up ahead. And I gotta tell you, it comes just in the nick of time. I don't know how much further I could go. This backpack is pretty heavy today. I got a lot in it. So, no need to hit the gym later. Let's climb up on that pier and take a closer look and end our journey there.
Remember guys, I did a live stream from here not that long ago. And the day I was here, it was, it was raining and I had to seek shelter underneath these tiki huts. You wanna be in my vlog? Sure. What's going on guys? Who do we got? Jose. I'm Jose. Okay, he's not shy. How about you, young lady? Luana. You were the one that brought me over here. I, I'm, I'm happy to say Luana. That's a pretty name. And you, young lady? Michael. Say it again. Maisney. My My what? My Tay. That's a very pretty and unusual name. Where are you from? Argentine. Argentine. Great people. You have a great steak over there. I love the Argentinian steaks. How about are all you guys from Argentina? Really? Okay, and um, so are you on vacation or do you live here now? No, I live here. I live, no, we all live here. You, like, you guys all live here. I'm and from California. Are you from California? You know what? I will tell you what's really interesting is I've been living in Florida a long time. Yeah. Years ago when I first got here by way of New York, Californians just wouldn't come here. You just, you didn't, because it was too humid, they didn't like it and they liked the mountains. Are now, really it is very humid. So it is. people from New York too are coming down. Yeah, I know, I know. So do you guys live in Sunny Isles? No, I live in San Francisco. Where? By North Miami. By North, North Miami. Miami, North Miami, okay. And so this beach is close enough that you come here. Why of all beaches, this beach? It's uh, close to Les Gastaways. Les Gastaways. And you got the tiki huts that are kind of nice to hang out under. Cool, so what, what's going on today? What's the plan for today? I'm just relaxing and enjoying a day at the beach. Chilling out a day at the beach. Well, we gotta go back to school. You know? All right, well, are you guys on break yet? We're about to be. About to be on break? All right, well, listen, you're doing the right thing. You got a good plan coming to the beach, enjoying each other's company. Are you, it, you just vlog? Yeah, what I'm doing, guys, because I always like to have a mission. This is part of my walk to Key West. I'm walking to Key West. Oh, wow. I'm from Boca Raton. I started in Boca, and he, here I am today in Sunny Isles Beach, right? And so I'm going to end this segment right there on the pier. But I want to ask you guys what you think about my adventure and if you have any advice for me. Yeah. I know. I haven't been doing a great job of that, There's but a reason behind it. my reason is I don't have a reason. Nah. They always see me walking on the beach. They they know that's my thing, and I'm like, you know. And then I ended up going south to Deerfield, and I walked that beach, and I'm like, why don't I just keep going? You know, why stop now while I'm ahead? Let's keep going until I get to Key West. So there's no timeline. It could take as long as it takes. I think tonight I'm going to sleep under this pier. It looks like a good spot. Anybody have a pillow I could use? Oh, yeah, that pier's a good spot. There you go. He's done it before. He knows. He's talking from experience. All right, guys. Well, listen, study hard, and best of luck with everything, and blow me up on Instagram. Barefoot Blogger! Only on Sunny Isles Beach with my new friends. Hey, nice to meet you, Jose. Nice, guy. nice to meet you guys. Best of luck with everything, okay? Take care. Thanks so much nice young folks that um, invited me to speak with them, which is always nice. And they got the right attitude and the right idea. Come to the beach, hang out, and just enjoy each other's company. That's what it's all about. I'll tell you what, it's probably the pier. There's a good crowd there, it looks like at the restaurant and like I can smell drawn butter and barbecue in the air simultaneously and it smells amazing. It's like a really fun spot, guys. It's worth it if you're coming further from the south like these guys were, or like me coming further from the north. Once in a while, get out of town, check out a new beach, check out a new pier, check out a new restaurant, meet new friends. All right, let's climb up this pier. So this is great the way they have the table set up out here, guys. You can look straight out to the ocean and see people fishing off the pier. Or this is what they're mostly looking at as they sit 
and enjoy a frosty beverage and uh, a nice meal. See the shark hanging there from the bar. This is open window so you can get a drink right here. I want to see what he catches. Let's catch it. La macarela, papa. Buena que está. Whoa! Buena que está el macarelón. Ese, espérate, Sergio. Espérate, Sergio. Súbela con la mano. Súbela con la mano. Tíralo para acá. Esta. Oh. Esta macarela. No me dejo. No me dejo. No quiero una foto. How's that for an outro? Till next time, from the fishing capital of the world. There are all those spectacular condos that we walked past, and we made it, guys. We made it through Sunny Isles. So, from the Newport Pier here in Sunny Isles, this is the Barefoot Vlogger thanking you for joining me on my continuous journey down to Key West, one beach at a time. Till we meet again next time on Hallover Beach, this is the Barefoot Vlogger saying, stay well, stay tuned.